What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walker right here on our Gym Leader Draven channel. Okay, so we finally got to Cinnabar Island after a very long and very tedious uh, task over at the Seafoam Island. Yep, no thank you to Articuno, you jerk of a Pokemon. And yes, we're finally here in Cinnabar Island, and we're going to be fulfilling a few things that, you know, we normally do for, you know, Cinnabar Island if we were here to battle the gym leader. Now, this is a bit of our, or this is part of our side quest, going into Cin uh, Saffron City. We won't be going there until, you know, we do, we complete a few side quests like this one, and then I believe the power plant is next. So, first is first, yes, I did manage to get, um, I did manage to get myself uh, two fossils in the beginning. Now, this is the place that everybody's talking about where you can actually revive fossils and I already got those fossils out of my PC and you just talk to this guy right here and he's like, hey, I'm an important doctor. I study poke, uh, I study here rare Pokemon fossils. You, have you a fossil for me? Which is a weird way to say it. Give him the Helix fossil. He's like, oh, it's a fossil of an Omanyte. Hmm, that's already extinct. My resurrection machine will make it live again, which is cool. Okay, I'll do that. So I had him that, take a little time, go for a walk and whatever. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna go to the PC right here, because I think I do have two Pokemon. I need two slots for, uh, I need two slots on my team just to get these Pokemon. All right, so I'm just gonna put those two for right now and go outside. And when he means outside, I mean completely out of the building because that's when, that's when it will activate the whole getting the Pokemon done. So I'll go back inside. And, uh, talk to this guy, and, uh, talk to him, he's like, hey, where were you? Your fossil's back to life, it was Almanite, I, uh, it was Almanite, it was an Almanite like I was the, like I think, hmm, it's a weird way of talking, this guy just, like, is weird, so I'm not gonna give this Pokemon a nickname, he's gonna say the same thing over and over again for the Pokemon fossils, yes, I do have a Pokemon fossil, it's the Old Amber, which is... Basically, our um, Aerodactyl. So I'm just gonna give him that, and we're gonna go back outside because why not? Let's go back outside and take care of a few things, right? Maybe. I don't know. Come back. Let's go. Let's go back out. Let's go back in. Back out and back in. Back out and back in. That's what it's all about. And talk to this guy. Of course, he'll say the same thing. It was like an. Arctic or Aerodactyl, like I think, and uh, no nickname. So, let's take a look at our two new Pokemon. No, they will not be on our team, it's just two new Pokemon. Here we have Almanite, the both water and rock type Pokemon. Um, it does have a very, very good defense. Everything else, like its special attack, is pretty good as well. And it's very complimentary right here because it does have Water Gun and Withdraw. The next Pokemon is the very powerful and the very fast Aerodactyl both rock and flying type and yes it does have a very good attack and some very very good speed it's a very good thing or it's a very good pokemon to actually have on your on your team and it does have wing attack and agility now both these pokemon do come out as level 30 pokemon which is good thing is i'm not really going to be using them on my team it was kind of temp tempting to use uh, aerodactyl just because of the speed factor and its move pool is pretty awesome you know Learn some pretty damn good uh, moves. But I think I'm very comfortable with the Pokemon that I have right now. And as you can see right here, there's that jerk of a Pokemon, Articuno. So glad I captured you. I'm not going to use you, you jerk of a Pokemon. And go my other Pokemon right here. Alrighty, okay. So let's move on forward. The next thing we have to do is not so simple. It's going to be a little bit longer than what we expected, and that is the Burr Mansion. Um, let's see, we have to go into the Burr Mansion to, in order to get the key that opens this place up. And uh, let's see, talk to this guy. Scientists conduct experiments in the Burr uh, building. This lady, Cinnabar, Cinnabar's gym, Blaine, is odd moment man who lived here decades. Now the other thing too, this place happens to have a volcano. I just don't know where it's at. Where is it? I don't know. Where is it? I don't know. So let's go into the Burt Mansion right here now. This is where it's going to get interesting because there are a lot of Pokemon here and most of these Pokemon are at least level 40 or level 38 and above. And you 
you guys don't want to mess with that. Make sure to have your Pokemon uh, well trained and all that. Uh, for me, it's actually a very good thing because the Pokemon are strong and I can actually train. Now, let's see. I think we've already gotten everything here. This place is actually filled with history as well. Um, well, with some history, there is a there is a very good reason why this place is a burnt out mansion. It happens to be the birthplace or the place where you know the experience experiments were conducted to get Mewtwo. Now, in different rooms right here, we will be finding um, we will be finding some uh, some diaries talking about the events that have happened here. We talked to this guy. He's like, I can't get out of this old mansion. It's a big puzzle. Yeah, you guys will be finding some burglars around here. Very nice burglars. They're short. No shorter than us. But this guy, he has himself a Charmy or a Charmander and a Charmeleon. How does he do that? I don't know. If I had a, if I had a team of Charmanders, that'd be awesome. I would teach every single one of these Charmanders different moves. Alright, he's coming out with his Charmeleon. I'm gonna stick with Hydra right here. Get some experience points. Beat everybody because I'm awesome like that. And there he goes, Charmeleon. Mm-hmm. Look at that, defeat the burglar. He's like, oh no, my bag of loot. Talk to him a little more. Switches open and close alternating door. Sets the doors. Okay, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. And like I mentioned before, some of these Pokemon are strong as heck. Look at that, level 40 Raticane. I am not battling you. Oh, wow. You will not let me escape. Okay, so... Wow, this guy is a strong Pokemon. Okay, you want to play it that way? Let's do this. Let's do this. Bring it on. Bubble beams. I'm going to hit you with all my beams. I'm going to lay the wood on your dumbass. Okay. More Tail Whip right here. That's right. That's right. How do you like me now? How do you like me now? Not that, not, not that much. And it doesn't really matter if I use a Repel or not because all my Pokemon are, are below level 40. So... That's it, man. Oh, God. Oh, would you look at that? Level 37 Radita. I'm gonna have to bail out on that guy. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, switch him out with Godzilla. Now, make sure to have some space on your in your bag, guys. There will be a lot of items here. Some of them are gonna be some pretty good items, like you'll be able to find Blizzard around here. And look at that, level 40 Radita. I could use a little, another rat Pokemon. I don't think I've actually captured Raditza, right? Did I, or did I not? I don't know. And, uh, no, he does not survive. Okay, so, uh, that, uh, Rat capturing a Raditza will have to wait. Now, there is the first diary. It says right here, July, diary, July 5th. Guyana, South America, a new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Pretty cool. Pretty dang cool, and uh, there's another item right there. Found, us our, found ourselves a calcium. Remember that's a special move or a special uh, move increaser or whatever. I don't even know. Stimulant. Um, okay, so could go up there right now. I'm not going up there. And the repel is already off. Oh yeah, make sure to have repel. That's another thing too, guys. Always have your repel. And I'm not going there. I'm going right here. Switch. Try and go in order right here with these diamonds. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Going down here. Here's another diary. It says right here, July 10th, we christened the new, newly discovered Pokemon, Mew. So, a thing about Mew, from what I remember back when I was playing Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow when I was, you know, a little lad was, uh, <laughs> it was a big thing, huge thing, and look at that, there's this guy, this place is like huge! Okay, so I'm gonna talk about Mew, the Mew whole, the whole Mew thing when I was a kid, uh, while I'm battling this, this guy right here, in his nice house and whatnot. Okay, so, the whole Mew thing was this, it was, uh, it was, it was hyped up, really, really hyped up, because originally, there was 150 Pokemon, didn't know that, but, once the first few people that started beating the game, like in Pokemon Ye Red, Blue, and Yellow, and then they started to discover that there is another Pokemon out there, that was a huge thing because people were saying that, oh, we're gonna, I'm here to capture Mew, the Mew Pokemon, there's an 151st Pokemon, whatnot. And that's where the whole uh, truck at the SS Harbor 
a rumor started to come out. People started to say that, hey, you know, you can get Mew by using strength on this truck right here. That turned out to be a lie. And then afterwards, um, afterwards, it, I think there was like, it was one of the very first events in Pokemon where if you're playing Pokemon trading card game, and if you win a, I guess if you win a tournament and whatnot, I think Mew is the prize. And back then we didn't even have Wi-Fi, we had a link cable, which was hilarious. And that right there is annoying. Freaking Radita. I think he wants to, he wants to be captured or whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna use an Ember attack, see if it survives. If it does, it, it dies. It dies. Okay. So yeah. And look at that, level 39. We're close to level 40, that's good. Good training right there. And max revive. That's right, okay. Um, let's see, train of thought, train of thought. Oh yes, and yeah. That's how the Mew thing came to be. And then uh, eventually somebody found the whole Mew glitch, which was a uh, you know, pretty cool cool thing to find. Now, read this diary. It's like February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. Huh. So technically, the, in, my, in my mind right here is this. Technically, if they discovered Mew first, Shouldn't Mew be, what, the 150th Pokemon and Mewtwo the 151st? I'm just wondering. But yeah, that's how the whole Mew thing came to be. And then, uh, you know, it, it was it was like Pokemon Mania. And then next thing you know, the Pokemon, mo Pokemon the first movie came out. And that was a big hit right there, too, because it was hyped up to see that, oh, you're going to see all the 150 Pokemon. And then you're going to be, you know... See Mew versus Mewtwo, which is another fun thing to watch. I actually, I actually cheered up a little bit in Pokemon the first movie, because, you know, not because of Ash dying, but because Pikachu, man, come on, Pikachu's my hero. I look up to Pikachu, so I have him on my team, and that is not cool at all. Wow. Okay. So I have a chance to capture this Rattata right here. Level 43 Rattata. Just imagine it. Look at that. Alrighty. Okay, so we just captured a Rattata, and yeah, we did not capture a Rattata just yet. We'll chew on anything with its fangs. If you see one, it is certain 40 more live in the area, which is cool. Pretty cool. That's awesome. That is great. Okay, so that's good. And then, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, I did stock up on some, some items, thanks to freaking Articuno. Jerk-ass Pokemon. Yeah, I'm gonna call him a jerk-ass Pokemon for now, and I, I, I don't like... I don't like Articuno right now. He, he still made me, you know, waste a lot of my stuff. And we found ourselves an iron. So let's go ahead and waste some of these, uh, these special items. I think... Put a Thrasher on the special. And then... Let's see... Ooh, oh yeah. Okay. Okay, so moving on forward right here. Let's see, let's see. Those need to be open. And uh, that is not cool because look at that. Radita's uh, little or older brother, Radicade, is like, where's my where's my little brother? I just captured him, you jerk. Okay. And secret switch. Alright, so that's going on right there. And here we have another Pokemon trainer. He's like, my mentor once lived here. Well, that's good for you. That is good for you. Alright, so he's coming out with his Magnemite. Of course, we don't have... Uh, there's no there's no such thing as Steel types right here in uh, Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow. Which is cool. Which is cool. It's very, it's, it's cool, because like, going up against Magnemite is kind of tough. You can still beat it with a Rock or Ground type move. No such things as, as effects right here, so you can use a ground type move right here. And there we go. Beat him. Look at that. Look at that. He's coming out with his magnet. Set. So, I'm gonna try it with Ultra Cycle. I'm gonna try that little. I'm gonna try that whole thing with Ultra Cycle right here. Alrighty, okay. Let's go. Dig Attack. Sonic Boom won't work, and here we go. Dig Attack does work. And it's super effective, which is good, and I hate that. So it would seem that in the Pokemon Yellow, I've been confused a lot more, and this keeps on happening. Oh, God. Okay. 
an automatic 20, 20 HP is taken off. So well, let's go to Thrasher right here because I don't want to be paralyzed. I definitely don't want to be confused, but it seems to be the theme right here in my walkthrough. So let's go with Thrash Attack. Just thrash the crap out of all the guys. Thrash them. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Coming out with Voltorb, but I'm just gonna stick with my Thrasher because Thrasher can do a lot of damage with just his Thrash Attack. Alrighty, oh god dang it. Why? Why? Come on. Should have beaten him uh, like after the first hit. And there we go, defeated a scientist, and he's like, whew, overwhelming. Yeah, it was overwhelming. Moving on for- oh, actually, you know what? I gotta talk to him. Let's see. So, you're stuck. Try jumping off over there. I am scared of heights. Not really. But yeah. Okay, going downstairs right here, we find nothing. Oh, wow. Why didn't I- Okay, so, if we go right here, I know that there's a secret item right here. There we go. Oh, no. That wasn't a secret item. Holy Jesus. And that happens. Which is hilarious. And we find ourselves a Grimer. Okay. 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 Go with the repel. Final repel. We actually, we actually do have super repel, but we're gonna use the regular repel right now. You know, I would have gotten max repels right here in Cinnabar Island, but they're just a little too expensive right now for me because, ugh. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Super potion. Yeah, super potion. Actually, you know what? I'll do that later. Try jumping off. I'm gonna have to jump off right here. And we made the right choice, because that would have ended up. Where, would, where in the hell would have we ended up? Pretty sure we would have ended up like up there instead of or right there. Either or we probably would have succeeded somehow. Okay, let's switch it up. Uh, who needs more? You know what? Tank hasn't gotten any action. Might as well give him some action because we all need some action. Let's do this. Get it. Let's go. Alright, so here we go. Scientist wants to fight. Scientist sends out his electrode. And of course, it's gonna be faster than my Pokemon. So we got Tank. Wow. Luckily, Tank is Tank, and that won't affect him as much. Hopefully, it doesn't take off. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it is what it is. Tank is a tank. You just wasted a you just wasted a move right there. Alrighty, body slam. Look at that. Oh yes. And you're paralyzed. Oh, everything's going on. Everything's going well. Oh yes, loving this. I'm loving this. Let's go, tank. That's right. That's why I call you tank. Cause you are a tank. And look at that, level 37. Very hard Pokemon to defeat with just a self-destruct, and he's like, ouch. Huh. Okay, let's talk to him. A key. I don't know what you're talking about. I never really said about it. I never really said a key, but whatever. And here we found a carbos. Okay, so if you go up here and towards the side, yeah, you will find an exit. We don't need to go there just yet. And that carbos could, use, could be useful for tank. And uh, let's see, what else? Let me switch him out with Hydra. This is the bottom, bottom floor of this whole area right here, and this is where you're actually going to find some rare items, some good items, some good HP, or good uh, TMs, and of course you'll find the occasional Raticate right here, and you know, I should, I should battle this guy just, just for the experience points, and wow, you gotta hate those hyper, uh, hyper packs. finish him off, nope. Quick attack, you gotta hate that. And uh, yeah, knowing my luck, he is probably going to attack me with a quick attack. Knowing my luck. And I was right! Completely right about that. Takes minimal damage. I'm gonna finish him off with a. Wow! He's gonna finish me off. Nope. There we go. This is what it's all about, you know, training to be the best, like no one ever was. Test him or whatever, to train him is whatever. You know, you, you guys know the song. Alright, heal up my Pokemon, because, yeah, this was a very tough place to be. Alrighty, okay, 
right, get that. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna kill up all my Pokemon right here. Every single one of my Pokemon. Tank, you are a tank of a Pokemon. That's why you need a lot of super potions and whatnot. And. Alrighty, okay. Time to go right here because we found ourselves a full restore, which eventually we will be getting more of. And that was the final repel, so I'm gonna use Super Repel. It's a hundred extra steps right there, and okay. So I think that's the last, maybe second to last diary. And grab this. Diary, September September 1st. Mewtwo is far too strong, far too powerful. We may have failed, uh, we, okay, we failed, we have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. And then eventually you guys do know, probably watching the Pokemon the first movie, that yes, this is the reason why it's called the Burnt Tower, because of Mewtwo. And that Grimer is very messy. It's a low 35. I think I should capture it. You know what, I'm going to capture it. Okay, so we got ourselves a Grimer. Some good stuff right there. You see, you see that? Level 35 Grimer. Made of hardened sludge. It smells too, uh, too putrid to touch. Even weeds won't grow in its path. That's kind of... That's kind of bad right there. Oh. And let me hit this switch right Oh, I gotta hit this. I gotta hit the switch properly. So there it is. Secret switch. Press it. Yes, we wouldn't. Grab this. And this is a TM14, which is Blizzard. And I think I was gonna... Who was I gonna... I was gonna teach somebody Blizzard. I think it was. Let me see. Yes, Blizzard. Yeah, I was gonna teach Tank that. Okay, Tank. Learning Blizzard. And, uh, let's see. I'm gonna take away Mega Punch because, uh, it already has a very powerful normal move right there. And, let's talk to this gentleman right here. He's like, uh oh, where am I now? Hey, you must, be, you must have been lost for like two days or so. Coming out with this Growlithe. Oh yes, you can capture Growlithe here. It's just, they're very rare, I guess. Should be rare, I don't know. And there we go. Bubble Beam. Critical hits. Oh yes. Oh yes. And then we got Ponyta. I think it, can you cap, capture Ponyta's right here? I don't know. Can you or can you not? I don't know. Okay, so that's done. And level 36, finally. Alrighty. This guy's like, oh, okay. He's like, you can find some flying around. I did. Not all of them. Alrighty. Okay, so. There's a. Wow, that's a mug right there. And it's a level 41 mug. Should I or should I not? I'm not. That is not cool. I think I should switch my Pokemon. I'll just psycho need some some damage. Need some damage done done to these people. So let's talk to this guy. He's like, this place is ideal for a lab, which it is. Alrighty. Okay, so here we have a scientist coming out with his Magnemite. I'm gonna be coming out with the great Ultra Psycho because he's Ultra and he is a psycho. And Psybeam is going to do something pretty awesome. Look at that, look at that. Oh god, Thundershot. Okay, here we go. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff right there. Good stuff, good stuff. And he's gonna continue with his electrode. I'm gonna just continue with Ultra Cycle. He needs experience points. He needs to be strong. Very, very strong. We can look at that. Thanks a lot. And ooh, that's good. That is probably not good. Oh god. Stay, stay, stay. Oh my god. That was close. That was very, very close. And level 37 is pretty cool. Level 37 is awesome. And that is it. That is great. That is good. Moving on forward right here. Um, before we get that, I think there's an item right here we need to get. Yes. Grab that. We found ourselves a rare candy. So we can use that rare candy to to a Pokemon that's either close to growing a level or, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's turn this on. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, no. Don't want that. Really? More 
eradicate. You don't want none of this. You don't want none. You don't want anything of this. Actually, let's... You know what? Let's finish it off with Sparky. He hasn't had any action at all. This whole episode. No action. And here we have the TM-22, which is Solar Beam. A very good move. If I if I, if I would have still had a Dubasaur with me, automatically... And there is one Pokemon that knows how to use it, and that's Tank. I'm not going to waste it on him right now. I don't think so. And then here we have the final item, which is the secret key, which opens up the uh, the gym. So, did we use the old the escape rope? No. So, that is pretty much it for this area right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, so, we have completed the mission right here. The Burnt Mansion mis mission. Um... Now, one of two things that we that could happen is that we can go into the Cinnabar Island gym right now, but we're not going to be doing that. Again, it's a this is a whole uh, what was it called a side quest for me to get stronger for my Pokemon to get stronger. Remember, in the Fuchsia City gym, level 50 Pokemon don't need that. So stay tuned, guys. We're going up north to P or to Pallet Town, and then yeah, we're just going to finish off the route north of the Palatine. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit for another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. See you guys.